off your phone. Jake and I broke up years ago, so... Here's the thing. I don't think that our relationship or our past has anything to do with them, with, with Kara or Tag getting married. Wait, 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 you don't see this as strange, really? Am I the only one who wouldn't imagine marrying their brother's ex-wife? You don't know my brother very well, do you? He's a unique individual. Oh, I plan to get to know him real well. I gave my blessing. I gave my blessing. Shouldn't that... That's all that really matters. Why go digging around in the past? But you know what? Here's the problem, all right? Unfortunately for you both, I'm the one holding the shovel. So when I say dig, we dig. You dig? Hey. Hey. I need to talk to Kara. Well, you just missed her. Poor kid, I think her brand new instant family is starting to feel a little suffocating. Is everything okay? No. Trouble's on its way, and she lands any minute. She? My mother left the voicemail. You? Oh. As in my brand new instant mother in law to be. She's flying in today. It's okay. I can do this. Oh. Yeah. Why not? You know? It's not my first rodeo. <clears throat> How do I look? Should I, should I get a tie? Full body armor might help. That bad. You ever been waterboarded? Dear, you were, you were back. I just got home. <laughs> uh, this home. This is uh, very. Um, do you mind handing me my clothes there on the bed? Thanks. All right, thank you. Another no news phone call from the FBI. Annie will slip up somewhere. We were so close, you know. We we we, we almost had her. We almost had her. Next she was time. right there. Next time. We'll get Emma back. Yeah. What do you want? I got a call from Annie. What? Where is she? I don't know. She needed money. She sounded desperate. So where the hell did you send her this time? I'm not helping her, Ryan. I came here to help you. Is the coast clear? Uh, you mean, is Griffin gone? Yes. Yes, he's gone. Come in. Good. Come in. Whew. I brought some hot chocolate. Oh, thank you. Thanks. Yes, yes. This is Zach's letter. It is. And b b before you lecture me and tell me how I need to start uh, dealing I with it. I don't lecture. I spiritually advise. And for special people, I deliver tasty hot treats. Hmm, well, thank you so much. Appreciated. Okay, so I found something really weird with the letter. Okay. Yes, okay. Here, Zach calls me sweetheart. Sweetheart. All right, he never called me that, ever. I mean, he never used that expression. In fact, I remember him saying once he thought it was condescending, so he would have never used it. I... I can't believe I didn't notice it earlier. But... you did notice it, Kendall. We discussed it. What are you talking about? Last night. Don't you remember? You told me how you thought that that didn't sound like Zach. We talked about it. No, no. No, we didn't. As God is my witness. So what do you think it means? Maybe Zach didn't write the letter.
Okay, come on, let's go. We'll pick up some flowers no, no, or something, no, no. maybe some candy. No, or... no, 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 she doesn't land for a while. You should let Karen and I lay down the groundwork first. Groundwork? Griffin, you gotta relax. It's, it's gonna be fine, you know? I can, I, can, I can take it from here. I mean, you don't know this because, you know, back in the day, Charm was my middle name. Yeah, I'm sure Mama Castillo will love me. Don't call her that. You're not helping. I, I'm, I'm, I'm serious, you know, just given half a chance, I'm sure your mother will want me to marry you by the time we get her back home. Isn't Tad? I'm really happy you're so confident. But my mother is way protective of Kara, and the news that she's marrying Jake's brother, it's not good news. She doesn't like Jake. She hadn't even met him, and she couldn't stand him. My mother, old school Catholic. Jake and Kara were not married in the church. Plus, she wasn't invited, thrown a divorce, ugly. Well, then, uh, well, what the hell? Why don't we bring her on board? Why don't we just uh, tell her that we're doing this to protect Kara? No, it's not a good idea. Even if we were to convince her that it was the right thing to do, she would never make it past the grilling of the immigration nations. She, she, she doesn't like to lie. <sighs> okay, well, then we're right back where we started. I'll just have to convince her I'm a, the right man for the job. Tad, I'm worried about Kara. She's taking on a lot here. Stress, pressure. Well, from what I've seen, Kara can handle just about anything. When Kara left Jake, she was in a bad state. When her cancer came back, it was a tough fight, a fight she almost lost. So you think the stress caused the relapse? Well, stress weakens the immune system. We know that for a fact. And I cannot have her get sick again, Tad. Oh, well, I understand. This marriage, Kara, may be fake, but her illness is very real. If she gets sick in the next three years, you're gonna have to take care of her. You're her first line of defense. So did you uh, fall in love with her right away? It's a simple question. Yeah, I guess I, I, guess I did. And you, when did you fall in love with him? Um, well, I guess it, it, it's, uh, I didn't know it, realize it. It was like the same time, yeah, I guess. So it was, um, love at first sight? I, I mean, you know, I, I, just because I loved him once doesn't mean that I don't love Tad today. Humor me, because you don't have a choice. So tell me about the divorce. When did you stop loving each other? Yeah, I want to know everything that Annie said, everything. Well, as I told you, she needed cash. And? I tried to get where she was out of her, but she must have spooked because she hung up. <sighs> yeah, Ryan. Hayward, he, he, he's here with me right now. You were monitoring his phone? And? <sighs> Damn it. Okay, all right, all right. Oh, thank you. They didn't get anything other than the fact that Annie was calling from a disposable cell phone. That's all they could get. How did she want you to get the money to her? We didn't get that far. Why don't I believe you? There's an innocent little girl in the middle of this. I'm telling you everything I know. Why do you think I came here in the first place? I'm trying to help you here. Yeah, you were helping Annie get Mother to run in the first place. I, I, I hate to say it, but I think he's telling the truth. Why don't you listen to your wife, all right? For what it's worth, I think Annie's going to call me back. She sounded pretty desperate for cash. For what it's worth, OK, yeah, sure. All right, look, I made a mistake, OK? I never should have helped Annie. Yeah, you did make a mistake. Because by giving her money to run in the first place, that's why my daughter isn't with me right David, now. David, so. David, thank you for coming here. You better let us know if you hear something. I know it's hard to believe him after all that he's done. And I'm not saying there isn't some selfish motive behind it, but I think he's really being honest. Well, I'm sorry if I'm not as trusting as you are. Maybe Annie will call him again. 
It's just that there's so many maybes, you know? Like, I need to, I need something concrete. I need a new lead to follow, because it's driving me a little bit crazy just sitting around waiting like this. I know, I know. And it's going to happen. Something will happen. But why don't we get out of here? I mean, like you said, it, it's killing you, waiting. Maybe, maybe we can go see Kendall, see how she's feeling after she read that letter from Zach. I wanted to be there for her, you know, when she got that letter, when she read that letter. I wanted to. Well, maybe it's not too late. You can be there for her now. I would have remembered talking to you about this. I'm sorry, Kendall. But you were tired and obviously a little groggy. You were adamant about telling me that Zach would never call you sweetheart in a letter. You even started thinking that it might be a forgery or a message from Zach. No, I... I just noticed this, this whole thing today. And yes, this, this might be forgery. Did you take your pain medication? My medication is fine. Griffin confirmed it. That's what he said. OK, um, I, I need to go get, get, to get some fresh air. I'm, I'm going to go get the mail. OK, why don't I come with you? No, no, that's OK. I, uh, I need to think. I'll be right back. OK. Mm. Sweetheart, who the hell would have thought that Zach had a problem with Sweetheart? Hello? Hey, who's this? It's Ricky Torres. Reverend, hi. It's uh, Ryan Lavery. I'm just uh, calling for Kendall. Is she there? She, um, she went to put the boys down for a nap, and she fell asleep herself. Oh, okay, good. Well, just, just tell her I called, okay? Tell her I'm, I'm thinking about her and, um, to give me a call when she gets a chance. Will do. Well, I hope that lead on Emma hands out. Yeah, yeah, I'll tell her you called. That was Ryan? Yeah. Oh, I wanted to talk to him. I, I want to tell him about the whole Zach situation. <laughs> 